So, uh, where was... While we were gone, I got myself a big piece of cheese. Cheese good. Cheese good. Can't hate the cheese. Um, yes, so fucking, yeah, Mark of the Wolves. Hellcat's coming back. Um, and they specifically said, like, a new Fatal Fury slash Garrow is announced, right? Uh, Fatal Fury means one thing. Real Bout means one thing. Garrow means one thing. Uh, the fact that Rock Howard is right there and it's saying Fatal Fury slash Garrow is awesome. Um, that's, that's great. I, I also wouldn't mind, like, I guess they have to make a branding decision because Garo Densets is like consistent for Japan, but for us, it's like, you know, a, a, a weird name change at the end, but it's the, it's a bit of that audacity of like walking into the arcades for the first time and seeing a machine that just says three. Yeah. They need to call it uh fucking Mark of the Wharves too. That'd be the right move. That 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 needs to be the right title. And it's all lowercase except for the R, and the R is a capital. Yeah. Um, I mean, if they want to go full-on modern gaming, they can just go, like, Garou, Fate of the Wolves, or yeah. Rise of the Wolves, War of the Wolves. You know, just get the words in there, right? <laughs> so... Um, which you know it's 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 getting played out let's not lie but every once in a while one of those will still get me so for example they just announced the sequel to crypt of the necker dancer is rift of the necker dancer and i'm yep. like okay that's cool i like that it also, simultaneous to some like new Necro Dancer DLC that came out just a little bit ago, sure. Which is yeah. Also in like the DLC is in early access, which made me really confused. It made me feel like Necro Dancer had not come out. Mm -hmm. But also, this is now the third Necro Dancer game because the Switch version had a completely new campaign for the Zelda stuff. Yeah. Um. It. It. Yeah, that. They. They kept working on it, man. Like they fucking. You know. Like that. That, that thing kept going, and I, I wasn't paying attention, but I love that when I come back to it, there's always a ton more to do. Um, it's a very unique thing that doesn't seem like... There might be there must be Necrodancer likes out there, but I, I feel like none of... I, I, don't, I haven't heard I of know. any, you know? But anyway, um, I, I'll, like it's always extra respect for the balls of, like switching the first word around but using the last words as the branding because it's not going to alphabetically list you know so mm. like crypt of the is more is going to list next to each other better than like changing the first word and then of the necker dancer coming out but it sounds cooler certainly so um you know uh anyways uh fucking garo's back holy shit uh, I hope that as well, I mean, probably, if Samurai Shodown is any indication, like, it'll, you know, be something that plays on, it'll be, you know, 2.5D two, 2 as we know, everything is, but gameplay will resemble that style, you know, the top system, the Just Defend, um, AB cancels. I fucking love Just Defend. Just Defend. <laughs> Just Defend's so fucking great. It's such it's a, a great like variation of the parry. Like, it's a low walk, anxiety. Good, good job. It's a low anxiety parry. <laughs> you know, which is why it's like it's so good in, in Capcom versus SNK too, because it's like okay, your instincts are n parry are like ask parry asks you to go to de to defeat your instinct and move into the attack, which uh, understandably takes fucking skill and is a badass thing to do. But you have to like go the opposite way of what you want to do. Uh, a just defend is like, no, you can still be a coward, but just be a good, a really good times coward. <laughs> and you get a little bit of life back. Um, indeed. Healing, healing is wild on the rewards for that. Uh, so they announced that. Then, uh, Tekken went up. We saw the Tekken Grand Finals. And a new project has been announced but it's not confirming what it 
is. There was no number. All there was. It's nice dick, the Tekken game. It's just a little screen, a little video of old Kazuya dumping his dad off the cliffside and smiling from back in the day. And then that goofy ass polygon smile, polygonal smile gets interrupted with a modern looking Kazuya. And it just says, get ready. So, <laughs> um, I'm, I'm curious because while the implication, the, the timing, first of all, would be right for an, an announcement for 8, right? There are certain games that are at the end of their life cycle, and it would be right around now where you'd expect to hear about Tekken 8, you'd expect to hear about a new NetherRealm game, and you'd expect to hear about a Street Fighter 6, right? So those cycles are kind of right on time as they were. Now, Tekken, uh, it might not be a Tekken 8. This could be Tekken Tag 3, for all we know. It could be. Uh, they also, and the thing is, they also just said um, Tekken 7 is getting more updates. They're, they're like a lot of, like Dragon Ball said, all right, we're done. Street Fighter is like, hey, we're done. Tekken says we got more. So that's crazy. That's wild that they still got more coming to Tekken 7. Definitely unexpected all this time in. But Tekken runs on its own um, kind of timeline, though, in that, like, you know, when you, yeah, you're looking at 7, the, the arcade version of 7, uh, um, you know, there was a long period of time before Different that got planet ported. from now. Mm hmm. It, it, it was, a, there was a long time before that showed up and then Akuma was there, you know? So. If they just, I don't think they're going to do that again. Certainly, but um, w there's always that that fucking salvage of an idea. Because Reggie brought it up the other day. He's like, "Yo, Tekken Cross Street Fighter, what are we doing?" And I'm like, "Kill it, kill it in your heart. Just murder it. Don't allow it to any air. Don't let it breathe." I mean, feel it's fairly clear that Tekken Cross Street Fighter exists, and it's called Tekken Seven. Then there will never be the right window of opportunity to actually put this thing out with six on the horizon and whatever this is. But I still say season of Street Fighter characters in a tech end game is a very reasonable salvage. You know? Just take it the way that Dead or Alive did and and get uh, a, a season of guest characters from the crossover franchise. And you can celebrate that put one or two stages out that are crossover stages and everyone will be like, Oh shit. And we're good. We know that tech end gives characters the respect and builds them up and gives them a really good move list. That's the best way to just scratch that itch and get that conversation out of the way, you know, with the crossover. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I, whatever the, whatever the fuck they're announcing, I mean, at, at, it'll hopefully have the good the good rollback <laughs> at this point if we're if we're jumping uh no no tekken will be the last tekken 8 is and harada full. harada will fight someone in the street over it like that's what it's gonna come to i mean we've seen he's willing to go and shake the commentators like tasty steve is like ah when the announcements drop so um Anyway, something's coming in Tekken World, uh, and we will find out uh, shortly, I suppose. Uh, then, the, then of course, comes the, the conversation of like, all right, are we just grabbing 50 characters and moving them forward, or, or what? What are we doing? Anyways, uh, Tekken's got that. Street Fighter VI, they showed off and announced uh, a couple of things. Big ones, of course, we got to see. Kimberly, the character that was teased at the in the screen in the background of the first uh, trailer we saw, who is now we can tell uh, a Bushin Ryu style guy replacement. So, so I had no idea what she was going to be, and I I didn't really super care for her design, and now that I see that she's Bushin Ryu and that the red is the fucking that like her version of guy's gi. Yep. Like, wow, she's great. They, it's the new it's the new ninja now does this mean that guy is not showing up of course it does <laughs> you know that's exactly what that means but you saw that you know that you saw the fucking list 
Um, but she is going to be the your 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 guy analog. Yeah, uninvited. I saw, I saw the weirdest video uh, from some fighting game Twitter that was like comparison of Kimberly's move set to Zeku. Mm-hmm. And I'm just sitting there going like, fucking why? Why are you not comparing her to Guy? Her moves are obviously more like Guy's. No, it's well, it's both. It's it's a it's it's a it's both because Guy, Zeku has similar to Guy moves as well. He's the teacher. They all they all mm. share that the Bushin Ryu style. Zeku has the two styles he switches between, but it's you're seeing mirrors of both in in, in what she's doing. Um, but definitely the the you know the signature run and stop and, and options the tatsu the izuna drop um yeah uh the I bushin love guy but the 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 bushin ryu style has evolved quite a bit over the years and then you know what instead of uh, instead of smoke bombs she uses paint cans perfect sick super fun i love that yeah i got to say i really want to give kimberly a hand for Zeku didn't do it, and Guy didn't do it, but they have their weird upwards hurricane spinning kick that's like a T, like it's a perfect T, and mm -hmm. she finally has like a fucking finishing kick at the end of it. Mm-hmm. Knock you back down. God, Lord, thank you. Um, yeah, and uh, shout-outs to uh, Aniris Kinones, who's uh, voicing her, and is uh, uh, someone I recognize from Twitter, a voice actor that got... Got that Kimberly role as well. Very cool. Um, that's a fun new. That's a fun new cast. That's a fun new drop. I am happy when something like this happens, and it's not the like this is. There's uh, hmm. okay. There's two categories. There's combat kids, yeah. and then there's caliber kids. Oh, you, oh, you, you feel not... me? Yeah. Combat kids and caliber kids. She is a combat kid. Absolutely. She's not a caliber kid. The ca I, can you explain that? Because I feel like <laughs> some people that's going to fly over their head, but you have perfectly nailed it. When it came time to create a new generation of fighters in Mortal Kombat, they created the combat kids. Cassie Cage, uh, Kung Jin, Takeda... Um, and Jack and uh, uh, Jackie, Jackie Briggs, yeah, and uh, they are new characters that are descending from existing ones. They were either students of or direct uh, kids of the, them, and their move sets were cool, like new versions of the things that we knew, and like ultimately they carried them into the franchise as like. Fun new characters that everyone liked, you know. Um, when the when Soul Caliber five came six yeah. five five came out and did this a similar thing, they replaced a number of staples with uh, the kids that were kind of stand-ins for them, and they were in many cases inferior replacements. So. Um, you know, your well, Patroclus was your Setsuka replacement, but like there was, you know, not Tacky and uh, who wasn't as good as Tacky and what didn't have as good of a design as Tacky and uh, uh, you know, not Sophitia and uh, it was just lame Sophitia, you know, or or um, other one for that matter, and, and a number yeah, of the, the other one. Yeah, and a, and a number of the uh, Cassandra, uh, and a number of the cast essentially were like, it's like, oh look, it's it's not Killick, and you're like, well, it's and it's not stand, it's not it's 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 not doing its own thing enough as a like, well, this is like, going to be a, it, a, a, a complete it replacement. It might as well have been a new costume. So overall, the new so the the caliber kids were pretty much hated, and were part of the reason why uh, that game was not. Uh, well liked. Uh, I like. I I played fucking uh, you know Zwei with his with his Wolfman stand, and I was just like off here playing a weird new thing. But overall, um, when you make a new generation, you want to have a combat kid. You don't want to have a caliber kid. You know, 
Every once in a while, you do something too. Like if you go back to the days of Third Strike, you go back to the days of Street Fighter Three, like uh, Yun and Yang, combat kids. You know, like similar to this two styles of Gen, similar to Lee, but also doing their own thing, unique enough and, and just good enough new characters that everyone's like, oh fuck, that's cool. I'm down with that. Um, I, I I mean, <sighs> Remy is. It's not a guile replacement, <laughs> but it's Remy's all you—it's all you've got there. to go on. But Rem, Remy is like that is yeah. I, I that that leans. I don't understand. I don't understand Remy's existence at all. Remy Remy kind of hits on that caliber kid side of the fence. Like he's I, I really I don't understand the purpose of Remy at all. He doesn't seem quite <laughs> as interesting as the guy he's replacing, and he's like a. Oh, I can throw sonic booms with a charge motion in a game in which anyone can nullify it instantly. Like, what the actual fuck? Very weird. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, you know, that's that's the thing is you got to be careful about it, right? Not like you, you it, it it it's a it's a thing that requires you to design something, call back to where they're coming from, have enough unique personality going on, and overall, they should be they should feel like a fun continuation if that's what you're going for and not like an inferior replacement it really makes me feel that it, looking at the rest of the roster with a different like thought process in that i'm looking at uh i forget her name but the french girl that looks like abel um oh yes uh, uh yeah right i, I forget yeah is she is she new abel like is she abel's protege like it's quite possible i i, I don't i don't know i mean Though, it, though at the same time, Mimi, like that's her name, yeah. Though, if you were to look at, um, uh, let's say Ed, and then you saw Falk, you would think that they would have similarities when they have like none whatsoever outside of just plot similarity. You know, mm -hmm. they're they're part of that Shadowloo clone system, but like they're not at all move list similar. Uh, but she could be. She certainly could be. Abel was originally supposed to be a little blonde girl, so. We could be going back in that direction. Um, still, I still think that was a better design. Mm -hmm. um, Tekken is an interesting case of like from day one, it's always been about the successors. You know, they've all they've yeah. very consistently had a like um, here's Mar here's martial law now here's forest law. You know, here... and then fuck that. No, here's martial law for six more games. Here's Eddie Gordo. Uh, now here's Christy Montiero. No, fuck that. Here's Eddie Gordo again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then also, um, what's her face? Fucking dance kid. Dance kid. Oh, the, yeah, 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 idol girl. But anyway, you know, that, that, yeah, that energy is very big in the Tekken franchise of just like, we've, we've transmogrified this move list onto a new character, uh, fucking deal with it. Lucky Chloe, wanna, how could I forget? You wanna get really Lucky confused? Chloe. Tell me which king is in which king. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the first king died. Yeah. I wanna say Armor King... <laughs> then took up the mantle. No! The first king died, and one of the orphans he raised took up the mantle and That's became Tekken the new... Three king. Fuck. Armor King became regular king in Tekken 2? I don't know. I fucking don't know. First uh, Armor no, King is... <sighs> no, the first king was killed by Ogre. Yes. But then, I want to say King 2 was... I thought I thought King Two was Armor King taking up King's mantle, and then King Three I, is an orphan that King One raised taking up I, the the Tiger Mask. Fucking fucking sure, whatever. Um, whatever. Fuck one plus two. Escape the grab. <laughs> you know, right. Mexican the combo. First, Roll around. The first Armor power King bomb. was killed by Marduk, but then the second Armor King thinks Marduk is a cool guy. Sorted. Marduk, Marduk hates him and he wants to talk shit. Also, he's really mad when and um, poisons in the in the wrestling ring. 
Because it's his turn, sister. Yeah, oh, well, okay. That's the only line I remember is just he mark in Street Fighter Cross Tech and Marduk comes out and goes, ah! And he's like, now it's well, your I'll turn, honest, sister! If you had not said that, I would have forgotten that Marduk has the ability to speak. Yeah, during the This Is My Town, It's My Town sequence. Don't forget. Anyway, What the fuck was going on with that trailer showing off characters that weren't planned to come out for over a year? <laughs> Like, <laughs> Jesus Lord. Oh, when the sun comes out and fucking Cody and Guy kicking down the fucking wall and you're like, what? Are you announcing them? Are they here? Are they, what do we do? Yeah, all right. Anyways. Those trailers were great. They were. They were. It was almost as if uh, a lot of money was spent on them. That should have been spent it on the game like itself. That. Yes. Mm. Interesting. It's almost as if the budget originally was going to go towards the game, and then for some weird reason, the some money weird reason. ended up going towards those cutscenes instead. Anyway. That is strange. Um, they also announced the return of the fucking foot fetish. <laughs> They're really oh like, man, it, it's it's Tarantino esque. They like they okay. So I want to say they accidentally tripped over the foot fetish when they first designed the character, right? Absolutely. Someone that was an accident. Yeah, someone on the team probably knew, and then went like, "Yeah, let me just try to, you know." Just slide this in there, and then they're like, "Oh yeah, that's cool, Taekwondo. Let's go." But and people were like, "Mm-hmm." Taekwondo right? has a lot of kicks in it, right? So her feet should be bare, right? Okay, and, good, got it. And then the entirety of Street Fighter Five came and went, and it was like, "Yep, okay." And then for some reason, Minat just big spikes on the activity chart on the seismograph, big spikes when Minat shows up, and people are like, "Mm-hmm." And Capcom goes, uh, All right. Okay. <laughs> they go into the back room, and then they come out, and they reveal a giant foot with an eye patch and the Tandon engine on it. <laughs> that, like, I... Riding a motorcycle. I out laughing when she she does the Akira slide in the, her uh. reveal trailer. And then stomps her foot down, and then the camera cuts to just a full 16 by 9 of just the foot. Like, I mean, a approved and fucking signed off on by Tarantino himself. They lean, I've never seen a lean in this hard. Uh, jury's back. She's got a costume that's more Street Fighter 4 style than, the, than Street Fighter 5. She's got moves that are a little bit more Street Fighter 4 as well. When she does the super, it goes into the whole, like, um, the original one where the, the, that felt good, didn't it? Except yeah. now, after the slam, there's a whole fucking sniff the toes sequence. <laughs> Rubs it all on your face and then kicks you. And you get to just see... Uh, uh, um, New character. Um, um, you get to see either a fucking face of anguish or what looks like Jamie nutting in his fucking ja pants. <laughs> Jamie just... <laughs> <laughs> ah, damn, dude. Yeah. Jamie's reaching for the bottle on that one. Oh, man. People in the chat are just yelling snoof. Snoof! Over over and snoof! That's a, that, that's well. Thanks. You can thank Mario, uh, Paper Mario, uh, for that one. I hate it. You can abs. That's full on. That's oh uh, fuck. That's our Paper Mario LP's fault. Snoof has entered the oh. lexicon. I don't. So here's the thing. I don't. Think when sniffing isn't hard I, enough. It's I don't time think to snoof. It, that that was necessary. Like it obviously came from that. And congratulations for birthing this nightmare into the world. But like, I didn't know that was from Paper Mario. And, like, it still got across real strong <laughs> as to what it was actually supposed to be. <laughs> and it is when sniffing isn't enough. Uh, and, and, you know, like, it's just, it's like, Jury's, 
She's riding a fucking motorcycle on that uh, with bare feet out, walking on the ground. Like, those are not manicured toes, you know? Those are just street dirt, muddy, just all the all the seasoning yeah, no, no. you the want on a right the foot. treats her feet is the way, like, porn treats most women's breasts. Just like zoom ins and and nice pans and just like Lord. So jury's announced and uh, there you go. What's her story? Well, now that she doesn't want revenge on M Bison anymore, she's bored. But hey, yo, Wor- works for me. F- feed her out. Um, it's interesting actually because in watching the, the the move list and sort of the return to form in some ways well it's not fully because she still has the um, the installs but instead of the projectile it goes into the multiple kicks that can link into each other it, it's interesting though in watching that because the, the, the goal of the trailer was to show off like to to you know jury players what's returning what's familiar and what's been updated and that gets that across but as a result of doing that, she has less going on than Kimberly, who's flying off the walls, doing wild shit, yeah. exploding into spray paints and color, and just showing off like a whole new thing. Um, it, it, it's yeah, it was it was you definitely got a more exciting vibe out of uh, Kimberly's move list than kind of like juries being subdued, which is wild because her move list shouldn't be subdued, and it isn't. Like she's doing spin is like you know pinwheel kicks into the air and counters and shit um the tandem engine is back she can now do the install and 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 you know it's a full kit um but yeah the the i feel as if the uh, uh yeah dive kick is back as well but anyway like that's a yeah, that's just a, looking at that it's like it's funny because like she has the dive kick and i'm like good korean taekwondo users are supposed to have a very specific dive kick if they're in a fighting game it's just mm-hmm, the way it has mm-hmm. to be. Um, and then, of course, when she beats you, she sits down, pulls out the phone, and starts shit posting on Twitter. <laughs> so, perfect. Perfect. Absolutely. Uh, in fact, there's a, a. I think I saw some fan, some fan art of like uh, uh, basically like her just like on her phone, just being like, like I can't believe they announced me before that dumb British bitch. Ha, <laughs> lol. <laughs> you know, like jury gets in first. Um, yeah. Good stuff. I I kind of um uh, had a uh, I was wondering when Street Fighter like was gonna announce whether they were gonna go for the like ah fuck it you all saw it here's everything kind of moment. No way. But it's I th- I had that thought, but it, uh, I I I think it's better to not because admittedly it's still a pop in seeing how they look and play right. What was shown off was the character art, and then like a quick clip of of Cammy and a quick clip of um, Ken on the character select screen. So like, there's not enough leaked that it makes it so that like it would be unhyped for the trailer to drop. That makes a lot more sense. Uh, if the if the leaks included like full matches of like you know the, the the roster then you'd kind of have to lean more in that direction but they're lucky that it kind of was just here's that artwork to get you going ooh what the fuck is going on with ooh like yeah he's got a uh, dalsim has got a, a sash now and you got the okay yeah cool you know so um Dalsim but no stretchy limbs <sighs> decided that he's decided that stretching his limbs is stupid well, clearly, uh, 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 the real way to zone is with a magic ball that floats. So, oh, yeah. you didn't yeah. need your limbs to stretch the whole time. I mean, it's it is kind of funny if you kind of if you look at two and you're like, okay, so where are the disciples of Dalsim that have also learned to do this weird stretchy limb shit? Nowhere, none. No one. And like the closest thing you have is uh, fucking twelve and Necro, and they're just accidentally doing it because their bodies they, are jelly. They're, they're they're mutants. Nobody's yeah. learned how to do it. <laughs> you know, like Sakura goes, Master Ryu, teach me how to do the fucking Shoryukens and Hadokens. and 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 she picks it up in like what four hours? You know, and and like oh yeah, 
Um, uh, Minot is like Master Rose. Teach me how to do the magic and the teleporting and the uh, and the all the and I'll, magic and shit. I'll combine it with rhythm gymnastics with my ball. Um, and everyone, especially if you go by the Udon comics, everyone goes to see Dalsim so that he can unlock their potential and teach them how to fight. But no one is like, okay, now teach me that stretchy arm weird shit. Like everyone's like, I'm good. <laughs> like you can. I don't know how to do nah, that, bro. You know. That's fine. Um, Oro, sure thing. Teach me everything you've got. Tell it straight up telekinesis, huh? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Fuck it. Give yeah. me, give me two afternoons a month uh, for four months, and I'll have you lifting rocks. Yeah, it's not yoga. It's it's that's fuck off. Yoga is the thing you do next to the Pilates class to to get your your stretches out. With downward fucking dog and, and, and all that. Like, what he's doing is horrible, bone-breaking and dislocating nonsense and then slapping it back together. And it's probably extremely painful. That ain't yoga. That ain't... It, not, D, DDP it's, it's is not teaching that. <laughs> it's because he's enlightened, man. Um, yeah. Was there... Hold on. I'm trying to think. I'm like, was there someone that like was a direct student at some point in the lore of of Dalzin? That was not just like an occasional thing, because again, Ryu got taught by him. Sagat got no, taught by him. Everybody hung out with Dalzin for an afternoon. Um, not like it's like Street Fighter EX or anything, huh? No, I guess not. Yeah, okay, uh, all right, okay. yeah. Anyways. Um, so that's what they got for now. Plus, Tasty Steve and James Chen as commentators in the in the in game commentary system. Uh, the build up to Yipes is palpable. We can feel yeah. it in the air. You know, Yipes should be at least twenty percent louder than all the other announcers. <laughs> the volume is up on just they him. just yeah. mix them just a little bit higher. Hell yeah. Um, okay. So, yes, then the fucking clown shoes time announcements happened. The one, like, everything is a combo of just bangers, top to bottom, hitting. And Grand Blue Fantasy comes out, has the video, the, 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 the director is talking, and he's like, you know... This is the franchise. This is how we started. This is the what what the fighting game meant from creating it based on the Grand Blue proper, and then Relink is still happening. Everyone's like, "Roll back! What are we doing here?" And then Come he's on Grand Blue, you know. And then it's like, "Okay, so what are we building to?" It's like, "All right, so thank you," because Grand Blue obviously also was on the on the uh, the category of Evo games. Then they're like, so here's what we're going to be doing. Announcing the Grand Blue online tournament event with $15,000 in prize pools. That's going to be a major online push that I guess Psy Games is going to fund to get drum up excitement for it. And motherfucker, like they didn't even, like they announced an even worse circumstance than just in a local world tour. Right? Yeah. If you said we're going to show up to your city, have an event, and you can come enter, and then it'll be for a grand prize or whatever, that would be one thing. But it's an online fucking qualifier that requires you to use their bad fucking connection, non rollback, delay based play. And, and it's just, ah, uh, it's, it's just fascinating because they're going to pay people to show off just how shitty the game plays online. Sides in orbit, you know, po is, goes the chat. Um, the most insane type of anti-rollback announcement ever. It's just like, we want extra, yeah, we want extra uh, uh, showcasing of online. Remember, too, that when uh, there, when it came time to do, like, the, the uh, Evo online possibility, it was like, oh, we can't fucking show off these main stage games that all have delay-based code. Like, it's going to be terrible. It'll look really bad, you know? So, here we are. They're going to do it themselves, and... Like yeah, the big the pop is that like they got Mike Ross as the ambassador at the end for the tournament, and it's like man, yo, I, I fucking I love that dude, mad respect. I I I hope Mike is laughing. 
I I mean yeah, just it. you know it. It like treat it, guys. Just treat it like a raid Shadow Legends ad. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just like just be like, yo, Mike, stack it up to the ceiling. Get it. Do what you gotta do, baby. <laughs> Get fucking paid, bro. I I got it nothing. Wildly unfortunate for them that it came on the heels of literally everyone else there announcing rollback. Like they, you could, they didn't know that they couldn't have planned for that. It's just like God, Lord, damn. <sighs> Wild, dude. It's it's the most embarrassing possible timeline of like. Not only do you not renounce rollback. You announce a tournament where you're forcing people to deal to play the game in the worst possible way. Um, so, yeah, I'm I'm not sure what I didn't see a tw- I didn't see a part two to this. There's a tweet, I missed it. I know that yo Mike uh, Mike yeah, secure the bag. We, here we go. I got S- it. Secure the bag. This but is I, from this is from Psy Games. Still craving more uh, GBVS action after Evo. We've got you covered. Introducing the GBVS, uh, blah blah, coming your way soon. <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh. You gotta, you gotta get in on this. You and everyone this. in the replies is just posting the sad emoji. The sad, like crusty, deep fucking, fried mouth. Oh, yep. I love it. Yep. Okay. Just every single fucking person. Okay. I yeah, I missed out. I didn't see that. That's there. You go, that. guys. I, I don't I don't know what to say. I it's it's crazy because the whole time we've been talking about it, you know, it's like Psy Games, it's on you. It's on you to make this game like relevant again. And um instead we're gonna spend the money over here. Alright, so be it. DNF, take that fucking take that bread. Take it. It's on the table. They don't want it. The Grand Blue came out and said, you know what, guys? I don't even want it. You know what? Actually, scratch what I said. Remember I said they couldn't possibly know? No, they did know. Because while they're the publisher, Psy Games, they are working with Arc System Works, and Arc System Works is literally telling them, listen, we're going to announce Dragon Ball Fighters with rollback. Everything that we're putting out has rollback. Like, we're going back to games that came out before your game to put in rollback. DNF came out. It's got the rollback. Street Fighters do it. Like, the, the, someone at Arc System Works spoke to someone at Side Games mm-hmm. and was like, don't do this. Mm-hmm. Now, and here's, they were ignored. Here's the thing, though. What do we know about Relink? It's uh, having trouble. Whatever's, yeah, that's true. Whatever's happening with Relink, it's not going smoothly. From Platinum being in, out, from footage being like, you know, here's it. Oh, no, never mind. Spa- like, people are waiting on what looks like a cool game that's been announced a fucking while now. And they said with this trailer that, oh, it's still happening. But Relink is is fucking struggling, right? That thing's kind of in development hell right now. And it has been. The fact that that is going badly, and clearly when something is going badly, but they're still saying that it's it's, it's being developed, means that it's a, it's a, it's a loss leader, it's a cost sink at, at a certain point. They're making money on Gacha, they're doing well, but there's definitely probably a massive reluctance to spend extra money on side projects like Versus. If they're looking at a game like this and going, this is going poorly, we don't have anything extra to put towards that. I'm going to guess that's probably what they're looking at. I'm guessing Psy Games is saying, nah, bro, we don't want to spend any money on this rollback. It's going to cost how much? Fuck that. The main game that we're expecting to be really big is already causing um, financial trouble for us, you know? Doesn't make it any less stupid. Doesn't make it any less silly that you're pushing what's essentially going to be like the worst look for this game while trying to drum up excitement for it. But I'm guessing that's happening behind the scenes financially. Uh, Whatever the case is, um, everyone walks out like fucking laughing and Psy Games put itself in the corner and, and, you know, like the people want 
to play. People liked Grand Blue. Like it. Did I? Did I imagine you know? the at, when they announced it at the Evo stage, like people in the crowd, like unironically laughing? Uh, I, they. Is that the, a figment of my fucking imagination. Yeah. Well, or? yeah. When I when I watched it live, it wasn't a it wasn't an audience reaction. It was um, it was just a screen. It was a full direct feed. It was, but the chat okay. was freaking the fuck out. I was just All I was right. watching the chat at the time, you know. So, um, in any case, uh, yeah, I I kind of like it extra to me. I look at that. I'm like motherfucker. Like it sucks that DNF didn't get um, main stage time because DNF was at Evo, but it was a side tournament. Um, and like I, I'm still going back through the footage of it because they did stream the top eight for it, uh, and I'm. Uh, you know, as as I've been I've been playing more DNF. Right, so before I left, uh, you know, I, I I basically was just like uh, grinding out into that a bit. Um, made it to made it to Legend on on console. Switched over to PC. Started play, going through it again. Made it to Deity on PC. Um, that was pretty sick. Uh, but I'm I'm enjoying the premium Kusoge that is DNF Duel. I'm I'm really having fun. As uh, as bullshit crusader against whatever else is coming out in that game, and like I want it to go further. So if Grand Blue continues to fucking trip on its dick here, um, that's fine, man. Like I think I think DNF could take that spot, and I think it should. You know, um, it's 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 dumber, it's wilder, and it's more fun to me. I I like DNF more. I you know? I. DNF is just so fucking, like, like it's it's so just fighting games with like a weird rasp to it. I don't know how to describe it. Yeah, and I don't have an attachment to the Grand Blue franchise, so uh, nor do I to DFO. I don't particularly care about what's gonna drop or who's gonna drop or whatever's going. Yeah, it's just a fighting game to me. You know, it's just a, so I'm I'm just judging it on how it feels like, and what's going on. And uh, like, I'm enjoying the DNF to, bullshit. I want to tune in to some fucking DNF stream in eight minutes. <coughs> and it's just people crouch walking at each other while throwing out low jabs the whole time. It's like, <laughs> yeah, no, this is what it's this is what it's become. Uh, Whoever, yeah. like, everyone's afraid to touch each other because the instant you touch them, you, you just die. <laughs> fuck, fuck believing in victory. The seeds of fate have found their new challenger. Yeah, I'm 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 on the train. So yeah, um, Psy Games was the entire fucking circus at Evo uh, this year, and uh, good for you, good for you guys. Let's see where this goes. And, and I and... saw somebody in the in the chat earlier when we started talking about this saying Psy Games. How about you roll back into your clown car, <laughs> which I think is is probably the best way you could phrase it. Yeah, yeah. And every time the stream pops up and they start and they have and Mike is there doing the announcing or, you know, drumming up the hype or whatever, just get that bread, Mike. All caps. Get that bread. Get that bread, baby. <laughs> That's it. Do what you got to do. 